everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. There we go. Only just made that look. Ooh, she's a tight one. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Hello and welcome to another Luke's in a HGV's weather report where I can tell you it's hailing. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. How are you doing? You all right? Um, we are currently in Tocaster. Tocaster, Tocaster, Tocaster. However you pronounce it, it's near Silverstone. <laughs> um, we, uh, it's Thursday today, we've got a double drop. Um, and it's getting, it's getting quite late in the day, if I'm honest with you. It's quarter past 11 right now, and we haven't even done our first drop yet. Uh, we will be in lane two in a minute. I just want to get over to lane one for now while we're slow. We uh, we had to get loaded this morning at Tetbury, um, but even though I was first in line, didn't end up leaving until like gone nine o'clock. So um, it's put us a little bit behind for the day, but it, it's no big deal because we've only got to get these two drops off. Got to do one in Tocaster now, and then I've got to pop over to Daventry, do the other one, and then uh, head back and get reloaded for tomorrow. So it's nice and easy. Uh, we've just got to try and Hopefully we're out of here by 12 o'clock anyway, because otherwise time's going to be uh, pushing quite tight. And we're going to go into lane two now. That car is right behind me. It's not flashing me in, but I have indicated for ages. There we go. Yeah, there was a car behind me. It was right on my, you know, backside. He wasn't backing off. He wasn't going forward. He was just staying there. So I couldn't go any faster. So we'll just edge over slightly, and then he uh, he backed off. So yeah, we want to go right at this roundabout here. That's why we needed to get on over. I'm always cautious at roundabouts, even though it's a green light for me, I always make sure it's still clear to the right. Because you never know. You never know. Oh look, there's a big massive purple cocker, cocker, what do you call him? Chicken cocks <laughs> over there. Big one over there. Ah, uh, right, so it should be just going there. We've got to go to a company called TBS Building Supplies or something. Uh, which right are we taking? We're taking this right here. Yeah, I see the place over there. I don't think I've been down here, but it does bring a bell. Come on, mate, out you go. Come on, mate, out you go. I won't be flashing a third time. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to get into this lane here. There is a weight, it says five ton weight limit at any time. But I'm delivering. I take it it means no parking down here. I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. But I'm delivering down here to, this is the entrance. <laughs> There's no other way in that I could see anyway. Uh, drivers are large because we must report to yard staff before passing this point. Okay, I'm going to have to go back a little bit then because I don't want to be blocking this entrance up here. What is that? Is that... I don't know what that place is there. HWRC? No idea. I just don't want to be too close to the junction, that's all. In case lorries need to go in or out. I think it's a recycling point. Yeah, it's a recycling centre. Right, let's go and uh, see these guys in here. Hopefully we can get offloaded nice and quickly. 
Uh, we've got two pallets to come off and the rest of bags. I believe there's 18 bags and two pallets. Yeah. 18 bags, two pallets. So I'm going to go, if I can get my eyes on, I'm going to go and uh, let them know I'm here. And hopefully we can get this off nice and quick and uh, I can show you what's on board as well. Ugh. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report is this. Uh, there is an Arctic in there at the moment. So uh, we just got to sit and wait. It's a bit annoying because actually time's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, as you could probably tell from my last video I made, if, if there's one thing I hate is just waiting around. I, I have to be doing something. I get itchy feet. It may not look like it. I may, you know, I come across sometimes as, you know, this big, fat, lazy bloke. <laughs> but I just have to be, I have to be busy. Uh, I get bored so easily. Um, i just got to keep doing something. So it's a little bit, little bit annoying when you've got to sit outside and wait. But it is what it is. It's part of the job, you know. I can't imagine we'll be waiting too long. Uh, there's an Arctic in there. He had some bags on. So we could, I reckon we'd be here for half an hour before we let in. I suspect. It's uh, nearly half past 11 now. So we will see. Uh, hopefully we're in for 12 o'clock. I've already started undoing the sides of the curtains. Um, basically, uh, along the side of the curtains, you've got like ratchets. So I've undone all the ratchets ready to go. Uh, the poles are still in and they're still secured. And everything inside is still strapped down. So nothing's going to fall off. But um, it just makes it just makes it a little bit quicker when I get in there. All I got to do is take the pole out and drag the curtain back, and then start and un uh, strapping everything that's on it. So yes, yeah, fingers crossed we can get in and out nice and quickly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but tensions are brewing around here. Uh, a lot of the people going into the recycling centre there don't seem to be very happy that I'm here. <laughs> but stuff them. I am. I am here, and that's that. So. I got it on break now. Hopefully we get half an hour break in. I'm just going to chill out now and uh, wait for the truck to come out. There's nothing else I can do, so... Yeah, hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. We can get in, get offloaded and crack on. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're we're finally let in. We're uh, we're getting offloaded now. Uh, I don't think they actually really wanted the stuff, but never mind. It's here now. Uh, we're halfway unloaded. Don't know if you can see much. There's there's not much to come off, to be honest. But it's taken some off. Uh, a little bit more to go. Hopefully, we'll be out of in the next ten minutes. I then we need to head to Daventry, pretty sharpest. Uh, get that offloaded and then back to Tetbury. Yes, it's a nice day though. This morning it was like lashing down with, with like hail. Uh, and now the sun's out, so happy days. Uh, we're just chilling, we're just chilling by, chilling by the bricks. <laughs> Let's get this off. Two more bags, two more bags to come off on the top rows there, Ooh, there and there, and then we'll be done. We'll be out of here. Whew. Luckily it's a, a one side tip job. Um, it's handy because there's not a lot of room in this yard, so. I only had to undo this side just to undo the straps. Uh, they don't actually offload me this side. So it's good in that sense. But uh, yeah. Two more bags left. Let's get them off. And we can make our way to Daventry. Ah, right, we're done. How long have we been here for? 35 minutes we've been inside. Oh. Tells you on your attacker how long you've been stationary slash doing other work. And uh, yeah, Ugh. 35 minutes. Plus we were outside for 27 minutes, which was annoying because we tried to get half an hour break in. So never mind, we'll, uh, we'll get one in on the way back. Well, right, he's told me to go around here very slowly and carefully. Oh. Oh, that is tight. Just got to concentrate a sec coming out of here. Oh, I don't know, can you see that? It is tight. 
I do need to push my wing mirror in. Because that's come out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's better. I just tap the wing mirror ever so slightly. Well, we're done. And then there's uh, like metal bits on the ground which make it sound like you've hit something. But in, in fact, you're just rolling over something. Like that. Van. Right, off we go. Cheers, mate. Off we go. Right, I have selected where we're going next. So uh, 24 minutes to Daventry now, so we're going to get our foot down, should be there for about 1 o'clock. I would, uh, hopefully we're out by 2 o'clock because it's a good two hours back and um, well, it might even be more than that actually. I'm not entirely sure if we're getting loaded tonight because I think the cutoff is 4 o'clock. We'll see, I'll try my best to get back. I think it does, it literally entirely depends on how fast we get offloaded at this next place. Lots of sirens around. Anyway, see you when we get to Daventry. See you in a bit. Woo, loads of cars in there. I don't know if you saw that. Loads of cars in there. Right, we're just around the corner. Should be just around here. Uh, got here quite quick actually, 20 minutes. Just around the corner. Hopefully we can get these bags off. Oh, it's quite a nice place to park down there if I ever need to. Remember that place? Where you go in, you're going left. There's been a lot of cars recently uh, not indicating coming off roundabouts or even on, going on to roundabouts. Uh, and also there's been a lot of uh, cars le lately not with lights on when it's dark out when you really should have lights on. It's starting to really annoy me actually. The amount of people with no lights. Right, we've got to try and find these guys now. Uh, was it T T T D W? Uh, I think it's T D T D W T D W. It's gonna go right at this roundabout. Ba, 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 somewhere in there. Well, oh, it's very busy down here, isn't it? Very busy. Right. Left, 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 left. No parking. Do not obstruct entrance. TBS building supplies. I think it's down here. Oh, there's a truck there. Is it? Is this one here? Okay, we might be okay. There's actually a stop sign in there, so I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go straight inside because there's plenty of room in there and I can see a stop sign for trucks. We'll go straight in, we just got to get the angle. He's out for me down there, that's good of him. Asking me to park up. 
And there's that stop sign I said I could see. Boy, mate. Hello, mate. Yeah, I got some uh, like bolt bags from Mel Court Industries. It's like topsoil and stuff. Big bags? Yeah, bolt bags, yeah. Hello, mate. Mal Court, bolt bags, topsoil. And a couple of pallets, yeah? Couple of pallets, yeah. You know who I am? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I am, yeah. Right, we tipped. That was a uh, rapid. It's one of those, uh, one of those delivery points you like going to because they're so quick. Right, it does look uh, a little bit interesting to get in out of here. These wheels are going to be very tight to this here on the right hand side. Look, clear left. No, I ain't getting out of that. I need to go a wider turn. Bit of wheel spinach. Right, let's hit my seat off a sec. Try again. Need to get a really wide turn on this one. There we go. Only just made that look. Ooh. She's a tight one. <laughs> no. That's not what I meant. There we go, we're out of here. Seat belt on. Are we going left or right? We come from the right, don't we? Yeah, let's go right. There's a van coming from the left. What's the better coming in here? Yeah, he is as well. Thanks for letting me out. Right, yeah, so we're on our way now. Uh, we're going to head back to Tetbury. Woo! ETA is four o'clock, so it's like pushing the limit of uh, when we can get loaded. So I will uh, have to phone up and just make sure that they will load me at that time. All right, see you in a bit. Right, so we are, we're about sort of 15 minutes away from Tetbury still, uh, but we're going through a place called Kemble, um, which is just around the corner really from our yard where we get loaded. And you'll see in a minute, there's like loads of planes, British Airways, I think they're like 747s or something lined up. They're being dismembered, 
end of service sort of thing. I'm not a plane expert, I'm sure some of you might know more than me, but uh, you'll see in a second. Anyway, our uh, plan is now, we're still getting loaded for DISS, D-I-S-S. -S. I don't know exactly where in DISS we're going yet, but I am going to head there tonight. So we will be on a night out tonight, parking up somewhere. And then uh, tomorrow, after lo uh, unloading, we need to go to Witham in, I think it's East Sussex, I think? I can't remember. But um, yeah, we've got to go there as well. So yeah, you can see all the planes look, on the uh, on the right-hand side, look, all these British Airways. I think they're 747s, I'm not sure. No idea. <laughs> I'm not an expert. They're massive though, I know that, and the wings nearly come out to the, uh, to the road, almost. Yeah, they're, they're bloody big, big planes. Planes are quite fascinating, I'm not, I'm not an expert on them, but they are fascinating. So yeah, night out tonight, not sure where we're parking yet, I need to do a printout when I get to Tetbury, find out how much driving time i got left. Um, you could obviously you can obviously drive for up for up to nine hours a day, but you can extend it to ten twice a week. And I've not gone into a ten this week yet, so I've got a ten hour drive to use tonight if I want. I can also use a ten tomorrow if I want. Uh, and you can also work up to fifteen hours a shift three times a week. So uh, today, for example, I started at five fifty, so I can work until eight fifty. Uh, should I require ten to nine tonight? So. Um, yeah, whichever comes first, the uh, the ten hours driving or the uh, ten to nine working time, we'll um, we'll find out when I get loaded. Uh, it it probably will be dark or almost. It'll be much darker than it is now because the sun is pretty much setting. Sun sets in about half an hour or so. So it might be light, but it might be harder to see me. So what I do is I go get loaded, and then uh, I see you when uh, when we're leaving Tetbury. And, uh, and then I'll see you again when we actually park up somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going to park yet. It's going to be at the very least, the very least, Milton Keynes is how far I want to get. I want to be able to wake up tomorrow morning and not have to do more than sort of two hours driving. Uh, maybe two and a half at a push. It's a good five hours away, I think, this place we've got to go to. So I want to get halfway. I want to get halfway. Right, let's go get loaded from Tetbury. See you in a bit. Right, it is quarter past four. We are loaded. I'm going to turn those lights on just in case you can't see me we are loaded um but here's the deal we're on two hours and 50 minutes of drive time right now uh which means we've got an hour and 40 minutes of drive time remaining one hour 40 minutes so i need to do two things firstly do a printout see what driving time we've done so far work out how much we can do when we can work till and also i need to put in the sat nav um the destination so we can get an idea of how far away it is i mean if i can get there tonight That'd be awesome. I don't know. I don't think I can actually park on the gate though. Let's have a quick look on Google Maps. It's a, it's a single track lane going to a nursery. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's it's a gated entrance, so. Hmm. Yeah, not that you can really see, but it's a gated entrance, so. Can you actually see that? <laughs> Probably easier just to put up on my phone, but never mind. The phone up on the screen. Yeah, so basically turn right there, but I'm actually coming from the other direction. Right, so first things first. We're on 5.42, so 8 would put it to 50, 10 would put that to 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've got 3 hours 18 or 4 hours 18 on a 10, so I've got quite a bit of drive time left. And we started at 4.50, well, 4.50 UTC time, we're actually 5.50, so I can actually work until 8.50, as I said earlier, which is 20.50. 10 to 9. So, now I know what my limits are. So I am I am going to have half an hour break now to reset my driving time, and then I've got four hours drive time, basically, to go. So I'll either get as far as I can in four hours, find somewhere to park, um, what time would it be then? By the time I get my break in, so it's going to be quarter five, and then four hours, six, seven, eight, nine, so that'd be quarter nine. So actually, I won't even be able to do four hours driving because then I'll go over my working time. So <laughs> these are things you've got to work out in your head: driving time, working time. You've got to you've got to work it all out. We're going to do. We're probably going to do about three hours driving, I expect. I think three hours driving, and then we'll leave it so it'd be an hour to drive in the morning. I think that's probably. A good way to do it because the earlier earlier i get offloaded tomorrow the earlier i can get my collection the earlier i get my collection the earlier i finish because i gotta go to uh you're gonna see all this 
I've got to go and get loaded from Witham, which is in Essex. And then it's a good four-hour drive back to the yard from there. So the sooner I get loaded from Essex, the sooner I finish, basically. And the sooner I can potentially load, uh, the better. So happy days. I know I've just rambled on for the last four minutes, but never mind. <laughs> this is this is what we go through. We work out in our heads, like, what time we're going to finish, when we can work till... Well, I do anyway. I like to plan, plan, plan. You know that. Right, next time you see me, it will be dark. It will be very dark, actually. We'll probably be pulling into a lay-by of some sort. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me... Oh, I don't know how many hours later. <laughs> I've been driving for two and a half hours. Um, and the time is 20... Well, I've just gone 20 past seven in the evening. So it is late. It is late at night. Um... But yeah, we had our break in Tetbury because uh, we needed to anyway, so we could travel this far. So we had to get the break in, uh, and here we are now in Milton Keynes. We're just around the corner from where we're going to park up for the night. Now I know that this parking is here because I put I parked here uh, a couple of nights ago because uh, I delivered right outside one of the places. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a second when we get there. So um, yeah, I delivered to one of the places and. I always look out for places to park when I deliver to places because you never know when you need them and this is a prime example so we're literally going past Milton Keynes so uh, Mars has parked somewhere I know I could park now <laughs> I can only park here if no one else is parked here there's uh, I think there's a room for two I think where I went where I was last time so we soon see uh, yeah it's looking good no one's here excellent this will be home for the night. We're going to turn around though. We're going to turn around, we're going to park on the other side of the road. i turn my four beams on, you can see. So there's double yellow liners there on the right, but they stop now. There's no double yellows there, so we can legally park there. And then they start again here. So right there in the middle, we can park. There's just enough room for two trucks. Uh, and it, they stop here as well, look. And here. But we're going to turn around. Now there's a roundabout down here. <laughs> As long as there's no cars, we can uh, we can get around it. I'll we'll take it very wide though, because the trailer cuts in all of a sudden, which I found out I very nearly, very nearly, run over those stones with the trailer. I spotted it last minute, or last second rather. I'll we'll take it nice and wide. It looks like I'm giving it loads of room, but you get around here, that all of a sudden that trailer cuts in. There we go much better excellent now if uh, if this lay by well, not lay by but if this was uh, busy and, and, it, and it had trucks here then um, I would have turned around and found some hours to park but I could park here I'm tempted to actually but now I'll go a little bit further that's where I delivered in there and that bike was there as well so the same bikes there but yeah we can park here and the double yellow line start just there, look. So we're just going to roll up to those lines. There we go. Legally parked. Whew. So yeah, it's nearly half past seven. Um, we are we're about two and a half hours away from our destination. I don't know what time to get there. Um, I was thinking about getting there for like half past seven. Because uh, it says on Google they open at 8, eight o'clock. So I was, I was thinking, get there for half past seven. And then um, hopefully they're open. So to, to get there for half past seven, it takes two and a half hours to get there. So I've got to be up for five o'clock. Uh, well, leave at five o'clock. Um, but it's half past seven now nearly. So that means I can't start until half past four in the morning. So I've got 15 minutes to, to, to park up for the night. Um clock off and then we'll probably start again at quarter to five tomorrow morning and then set off at five o'clock so um yeah i've got 15 minutes to do some paperwork do some uh end of day checks which I'll, I'll show you what i do you haven't necessarily got to do them but uh i do them anyway so yeah first things first let's get my paperwork da, da, da. that's what i've done today i put the paperwork away 
and then I write down what I've done. So I reloaded in Tetbury. Then I delivered to Ah, oh, it's not Toaster, it's Toaster or Toaster, someone said. <laughs> so I delivered to Toaster. Toaster. Then I delivered to Daventry. And then I reloaded again in Tetbury. Uh, my end mileage will be 22115. We haven't finished just yet, but we are parked up in Milton Keynes. We will start again in Milton Keynes. This is all very interesting what I'm doing right now. We put the start mileage 22115. Okay, so we haven't actually finished yet, so I'm not going to um, put what time we finished because we haven't finished yet. And I'm not entirely sure what hours we've done driving. I'll do that print out in a second. That's all I can do for now. Let's turn that engine off. Out of gear. Right. Follow me. So this is uh, where we parked up for the night. Get my trusty torch out. What we do now is we just go around and just make sure everything on the truck is okay. Um, and if it isn't okay, then obviously we know that it's happened tonight and not during the night, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, we just go around now and make sure everything's right with the truck. Okay, so check the tires, make sure there's no damage anywhere. All the Susies are still connected and obviously Kingpin is in. It's a bit like a, a morning check, but it's just making sure it's all okay now sort of thing something i uh, i always do is uh i don't want to wake up in the morning to find i've got a slash curtain so we open the back door just open one door up and what that says is look if you're gonna steal something steal it out of the back don't don't damage the the bloody truck like just take it out the front the, the back of the door so that's what we're gonna do now open the door <laughs> Excellent. And there's what we have on board. So, if anyone wants to see what's inside, they can. Do you know what I mean? They haven't, they haven't got a slush to curtain to so see. They can just, you know, jump up a up in if they want. You see, it's a full load of that. So, yeah, let's open this door. We hook it on. And make sure that's nice and secure. So, there we go. So, yeah, now that door's open parked up the door is open if uh if anyone if anyone does want to have a look inside they can they're more than welcome to i don't even know what it is to be honest it's like they're bales or something so just garden stuff <laughs> so yeah uh end of day check is done i'm happy with the truck everything seems good it's all roadworthy so when i do my check in the morning i know that uh it's happened during the night yeah, we jump back in the truck now, uh, do the rest of our paperwork, which just includes taking out our taco card, finding out how much driving time we've done, what our actual finish time is, which will be around the next five minutes or so. It's 19.33 at the moment. And then nine hours later, we start work again. I'll probably see you tomorrow morning when we are close to our destination, which is in Norfolk. So... See you in a bit. Night. Hello. Good morning. How are you all doing? You all right? Um, yes, it is the next day now. Time right now is, uh, it's just gone 25 to 8. 7.37 to be precise is the uh, is the time. And uh, we're, we're around the corner from where we need to be. Now we've got to go down a lane now. The, the nice bit's about to stop. <laughs> I think it's single track now, most of the way. But we've only got to go for a mile and a half. Uh, weight limit, except for loading, that's, that'll do. Because that's what we're doing. We're, well, we're unloading, but same thing. Right, single track lanes. Hopefully they're quite quiet and there's uh, no vehicles. Fingers crossed. 
but yeah, no, I had a good night's sleep last night. I uh, we I wanted, well, I think, well, I could I could start work at quarter to five this morning, but I didn't actually start until five past five. I had, I had an extra twenty minutes of bed. <laughs> I needed needed an extra twenty minutes, so that's what I did. <laughs> I used to get really nervous with places like these, like going down lanes like this, but you, you've really got to have like a, I don't care, attitude, like I need to be down here. You know, if there's a car, then the car's going to have to go back. I mean, I can try and go back, but it's just so much easier for the car to go back. But yeah, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they get us unloaded quite quick so we can get on with today. I did try phoning the customer yesterday, but they didn't answer. Phoned them twice. Um, I normally phone them up just to double check what time they can take a delivery in the morning but like I said they never answered so Google says they open at 8 o'clock so I'm popping in just before 8 hopefully the gates are open if not I'm not quite sure what we're going to do might probably just have to park on the road with the hazards on and hopefully someone comes to open the gates if there's no room to park I don't know what's going to what's going to happen and what we're going to do <laughs> I'm just being careful down these roads because they are quite icy. So we're not going too fast. We're only going 20 miles an hour. Yeah, I get I get told this quite a lot. Sometimes people say oh, look, it looks like I'm going too fast. It's the way the cameras are recording. They record in 60 frames per second. So it, everything just seems smoother. Um, so then it looks faster. And also it's a wide angle lens as well. So, um, you know, you see more. So it looks like I'm going faster. But I'm literally going 20 miles an hour right now. That's all I'm doing. Oh, also, shout out to Levi, uh, if you're watching. I, I'm pretty sure you're watching, Levi. Um, your mum keeps telling me that uh, you're like my biggest fan and that, Vicky. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Levi. And uh, thank you for uh, watching my channel and thinking I'm your favourite. Just got to try and convert your mum now because she, for some reason, thinks Scott's her favourite. So. <laughs> Right, round we go. I think that was the worst bit, that little bit there. Maybe there might actually be a better road, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have a look, there might be a better road out. Wharton's Nursery, excellent. Right, where do we go? That's the question. Uh, goods inwards, right. All visitors and drivers must report to reception. No problem. I shall put my hazards on and stop here. Excellent. I'm a big lorry. I'm pretty sure they can see me, which is good. Uh, where's my high vis? There it is. But yeah, uh, I suspect they're probably just going to offload me here somewhere. I'll probably, I'll probably turn around over there. Get the curtains open. They probably won't open and will start until 8 o'clock, but at least I'm here. I can get ready for them. Ugh. Excellent. Right, let's get my face mask just in case. I need to wear it. Phone and paperwork. Let's go. Ah, and we're here. So we've got 24 of these pallets to come off uh, and then we're going to head straight to Suffolk so yeah we're just uh, waiting for these to come off now got one person on me so it's all good let's go right we are low uh, unloaded yeah unloaded paperwork in there feed belt oh. uh, what do I want glasses Tis a bit sunny. Tis, which is funny because we're in dis. Get it? <laughs> Let's move you around a little bit. There we go. Right. 
let's go. So yeah, we've got to go to um, Essex now to get uh, to get reloaded for Monday morning. Uh, it's a uh, reversing on a bay jobby. We've got to get loaded for Audi in Swindon. So uh, yes, that's what we are doing now. Let's get out of here first. We've got to go out the same way we come in, I think. That's the way we're going, anyway. Quite a busy little road, this. All clear. But yeah, no, they were rapid in there. They got me offloaded very quickly. It's uh, it's quarter past eight now. So what time we turn up? I think it was uh, about quarter to eight we turned up. Now it's quarter past eight, so in and out in half an hour. Bang on, that is exactly what we want. That means we're gonna be at our destination now for 20 to 10, which is good. Uh, I'm assuming we'll be out by midday. <laughs> and if we are, then um, we should be back by about four o'clock. So happy days. Hello everybody, you join me uh, attempting to reverse onto a bay. <laughs> We're at our destination now. We've got to go into Bay 5. It's a bit of an awkward one, this one, to get in. But we'll get it. Got to come in at a bit of an angle. Ooh. Very close to the wall there on the left. There we go, just recorrect. There we go. Right, that's a bit better. So it's just the sun is right in the mirror and I can barely see. So I just wanted to give it a quick clean and uh, get it sorted. And now someone's calling me. Go away. Ba, ba, ba. We will get this on eventually. Gotta open the doors in a sec before we get on properly. So <laughs> I got Jay, I got Scott, they're all calling me. Leave me alone! <laughs> right, let me go open the doors. Be right back. Right, doors are open. Just got to reverse it back onto the bay now. It's actually the first time I put this trailer on, on a bay. And uh, it's a bit of a weird trailer this because it's very low at the back, so I've got to raise it now to get it sort of halfway to a suitable length, if that makes sense. It's, it's quite low on the back, so I've got to raise it to meet the, pack, the back of the platform. So that's what I'm gonna do now. See you in a bit.
Yeah, so the trailer is actually, even though it's now as high as it can be on the back, it's still quite low. So, yeah, hopefully they can get on it. There we go. Right, let's see if that's any better. So we're on the bay now. Uh, we've been here now for, actually, what time did we get here? I can't remember what time we got here. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock now. Um, so what better thing to do than uh, give the truck a little bit of a clean? So I'm just going around and uh, clean that up. I would normally use pink, but I ain't got any pink, so I'm just using embellish. Uh, so it's just like a quick detailer. Just go around, it just makes everything look uh, clean. And it smells lush as well, so. Happy days, let's get another cloth out. There we go. Yeah. Just gonna clean it all up, make sure it's nice and uh, tidy on the inside. Ready for the weekend, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there, really. Oh, I do have some uh, some train horns to go on the truck. So the boss bought the boss bought it for me as a consolation prize because <laughs> I was supposed to have a 106, the new truck, but uh, it went to Andy instead, which is fine. So he got me the uh, the air horns instead. Just wait for them to go on. Mind you, by the time they do go on, I'll probably have a 106. <laughs> So I've given it a, uh, a good clean. We're uh, just going to spray some Febreze now on the bed end, make sure it all smells nice and fresh. Spray the seats. I do this every weekend. Uh, not every weekend, every Friday. Uh, try to anyway. Um, so yeah, the only other thing really I've got to do now is the floor. Um, I'll do, I'll do the footwell, the driver footwell when I'm actually finished because obviously that's still going to get dirty. But what I do have up here, I don't know if you've ever seen this up here, but in this bag, I have a Hoover. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're uh, just going to Hoover the floor now that I'm standing on. Oh yeah! Oh, I've done it, mate. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's probably what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on foot five. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. <coughs> right. So the hoovering has been temporarily uh, stopped by the uh, the fact that we're now tipped. But I'm still going to carry on hoovering as soon as I started, and then I'll go get the keys. Right, that's most of it off. There we go. Right, let's go get the keys, and uh, then we can get out of here. Where's my mask on? Where'd I put my face mask? Never mind, we'll get a fresh one out. Carry a box of face masks with you. You definitely need them. Right, see you in a bit. Right, here we go. We are fully offloaded. Oh, that can come off. <laughs> yeah, we're fully loaded. All secured, doors are locked and we're good to go so yeah happy days man it's uh 20 past 11 right now and uh this is for monday all we've got to do now is go back to the yard so um eta back in the yard is 20 past two baby 20 past two 
don't need to have a break because I've had a break here while uh, on the bay, which you're legally allowed to do. So it's just a case of going straight back to the yard now. Happy days. So yeah, um, I thought it was a four hour drive back to the yard as well. Turns out it's a three, so even better. Three hours according to the, uh, to the sat-nav. So I'll put that over there a sec. Uh, there we go, put the paperwork there. Need to have a bit more of a tidy up, it looks a bit messy in here at the moment. Uh, but basically I've got my bag, my dirty clothes and my, um, what do you call it, waste. Like food packaging and drinks and you know, wet wipes and stuff. It's a bit tight here, isn't it? Ooh. So yeah, I need to get rid of those three bags and then I'll put put my Uber back up where it was when I, when I get there later. Um, but I've hoovered the floor. It's a good little thing that, having a hoover. You wouldn't, most people wouldn't think to have it, but actually it's uh, really good. And the Febreze makes a massive difference. It just makes it look, it makes it smell so much nicer inside and more fresh. Do you know I mean, when you're basically living here all day, you don't really smell any smells because you, you know, you get used to them, but you know, not that anyone comes in here anyway, but <laughs> you just want it smelling nice, don't you? Right, we want to go straight on. Straight on. Anyway, I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go and then um, I will see you when, we, uh, when we're closer to the yard. Hopefully ETA will be um, around about 2 o'clock, 20 past 2, so see you in a bit. Okay, and here we are. We are now in Swindon. We're just about to go down Blunsdon Hill and we're done for the day. Um, yeah, really good actually today. Um, I'm glad I went halfway there this morning, well slash last night. Um, because you know I had two and a half hours less to do. If I left this morning, uh, the yard, it would have been a very early start. Um, and we ended up starting at like five o'clock today anyway. So it would have been a three o'clock start from the yard. And uh, no, nobody nobody wants to start at three o'clock in the morning, do they? <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we started, or we'll continued driving last night. We started when we did this morning at five o'clock. And uh, happy days, we, uh, we did, we did four hours driving by the time we got to PFE. Um, and then, what are we on now? We're on 2.45 right now, and we're about 15 minutes away tops. So, four, five, six, seven hours driving today. Seven hours, that's all. Yesterday we did about nine, so. Happy days. Uh, yeah, it's two o'clock now in the afternoon, so it's gonna be a nice early finish. We'll park up, we'll probably clean the inside a little bit more. Um, I've done most of it, I just need to pack all my stuff away, make sure it's nice and tidy. And uh, yeah, we'll probably get ourselves off home, edit this very video, uh, and yeah, hopefully you can all enjoy it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like, comment, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, bye, we'll see you soon, bye. -bye.